Hello everyone, my radar tropical weather expert, Dr. David Erglicki here, and you'll notice I'm not in one of my usual spots because on today's episode, we're going to be talking about movie clips and my reactions to those movie clips and talking to you about the science. So sit back, relax while I dissect and destroy some of your favorite childhood memories. So as part of this exercise, I'm going to be ranking these movies from one to five, like categories of a hurricane. Were, and I'm going to rank them as some weird subjective combination of both plausibility and enjoyment and what I actually want to watch the rest of the show or the movie, depending on what it is. I will warn you that I have watched some of these before, before doing this viewing. Others I've never even seen before, so I have zero context about the scene. So I'll let you know how I feel about it. In the fall of 1991, an event took place that had never occurred in recorded history. So the first movie that we're going to be taking a look at here is The Perfect Storm, one of my personal favorites. All right, you're the last down. Bugs put the birds in the water. So I don't have really too much to say about uh, this uh, hanging out here going fishing. Okay, Hurricane. That is Hurricane Grace. Uh huh. This low south of Sable Island, ready to explode. Uh huh. Look at this. So this is actually what happened. With a jet stream and his motoring hell bent towards the Atlantic. I don't know. Is this how meteorologists talk? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Hurricane Grace went smack into it. Entered the scenario of this baby off Sable Island, scrounging for energy to start feeding. Let's talk about what he's talking about here. So yeah, there, there is actually, there actually was a perfect storm. It actually did happen. It actually was a confluence of three different events. It's a little hammy over the top, but hey, you know, that's what, that's what people want. Um, and I did get nerdily excited when I saw the hurricane stuff. The science behind this of what actually happened during the perfect storm, it was something called extratropically transitioning of grace. Grace was the actual storm. It went through a merger with a mid-latitude trough. This happens all the time. The real wrinkle here is that when that system went back over the water, that be was what we call a tropical transition. And that is unfortunately is what sank the Andrea Gale. And back, at, back in those days, we didn't really understand tropical transition all that much. So yeah, though, so a little hammy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, a little hammy, but it, it's Hollywood. But the science behind it, the perfect storm, everything you talked about, these uh, storm systems merging everything, that actually happened. So I'll give this a four out of five hurricanes. There's a hurricane coming. We're on lockdown due to the storm. Oh boy. Now the next one that they have me watching here is something called The Hurricane Heist. I've never actually seen this movie before. So uh, let's take a look at what's actually going on here. It's okay, Hurricane Andrew, Gulf Walt, Alabama. It was a five when it made landfall in Miami, or to say Homestead, but okay. If we get caught, it's all your fault. It was not. Is that Southern or Australian? I can't tell. All right, so maybe, I, I don't know. This feels like, or looks like there's something more associated with the tornado. Cause I've now, I've been in a couple hurricanes before. I'm getting some real uh, Wizard of Oz vibes here. Yeah, I guess so they're safer inside. Uh, they need to get a, not be at the window. That's not great. So this is fine. Like the meteorology surrounding all this. I don't know if Hurricane Andrew was really this intense. And normally when you see gusts like this, there's usually like buildings and stuff around to focus it. I. Oh, apparently there's an earthquake going on while Hurricane Andrew is uh, doing its thing. I didn't know that was happening at the same time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was um okay. I was not. I don't. Even, I um, okay. All right. So let's let's. Hmm. So yes, hurricanes can rip roofs off houses and that happens. Lift, lifting a house up like that, you know, you normally think of that with tornadoes and or maybe even a potentially a category five hurricane, which Andrew 
uh, most certainly was not uh, when it made landfall in Mississippi. If this were a tornado associated with hurricanes, we've talked about that. That actually could happen. Hang on, can I check? Can I check something? Because something, uh, something doesn't seem right here. If we look at the track of Hurricane Andrew, is that Andrew made landfall in uh, central Louisiana, on the central Louisiana coast. There's a category, I believe this is a category three, four. The issue is that I do believe they were in Gulfport, either Mississippi or Alabama. So I don't think the outer rain bands were uh, that intense or the wind field was that big. Andrew was actually, a, I think, a pretty tiny storm. And the other part is like lifting that house off again, unless there's like a tornado or something associated with that being this far away from the eye. I'm going to give this one a two hurricanes out of five. I don't even know what the heist was about. What was, what was the heist about? Yeah, we don't know what the heist was about. Maybe I should watch the movie and I can let you know. But from that little clip, sorry. Boys, come and see this. Heck, can you swim in there? Yeah, we can go swimming, yeah. Go get it, Lucas. Come on. Okay, so kind of a breeze. If there really is a tsunami coming, which I have to assume. So tsunamis are caused by earthquakes. And we do know from the fact, the fact that animals said, oh, there's the tsunami. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. That is exactly what a tsunami should be like, is that it's tsunamis are caused by earthquakes and we know for a fact that animals spaz out they can sense things that humans apparently cannot about earthquakes that happen beforehand the thing about tsunamis is that it's they're caused by earthquakes that happen overseas so normally a tsunami only starts out maybe a foot high but there's so much water that gets thrown up high as that it comes into land that's where it gets really high because the continental shelf basically becomes a beach People holding on for their dear lives on trees. Yeah, no, this is this is exactly what happened in that tsunami back in, uh, I do believe it was uh, Thailand or Indonesia in Southeast Asia. I don't know so much about the uh, the wind and the pressure beforehand, but this is absolutely plausible. I do remember a uh, report, I believe it was, um, there was a model or something who was clinging onto a tree like this and uh, she ended up with broken bones from uh, the force of the tsunami. So. This is all, uh, everything that I've seen here is actually, yeah, all of that. I'm gonna give that a five out of five because, you know, we had the animals right, we had the water right, people can hang on and survive. I don't know about the people who fared in the pool, probably not great, but uh, everything else about that, I thought that was great. Hey, yay, hey, yay. This session will now come to order, but. This is for the United States of America. <laughs> This one's going to be about the Simpsons, and I love the Simpsons, but we'll watch this. They're um, they're dead wrong on this one. Yeah, Bart versus Australia. Oh, I love this one. This part's accurate. I always wondered for a long time when I was growing up if it actually warm and cold, but after I started living with other people, yeah, hundred percent. I like how, as I'm watching this, I think one of the ads is a does what or recommended videos is does water swirl the other way in the southern hemisphere? I remember in science class when we first talked about this, and we will eventually talk about why The Simpsons is wrong. Uh, but yeah, well, all of us in high school, because I am of that age, were like, "The Simpsons lied to us." Yeah, it was a big, it was a big moment. The fixtures, they're all turning clockwise. Yes, okay. Stupid Lisa, science queen. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sweet land of liberty. So the Coriolis effect is a real thing. It is the rotation of the flow, uh, a rotation of the earth imparted on the flow. We actually talked about it in my uh, Hurricane Vortex Rosby wave video. On the planet, you know, the effect is excruciatingly small. Okay. So in the in the equations of motion if you if you write them all out you know there's like advection terms which is just the the how the flow is moving and then you have pressure gradient forces and coriolis the coriolis force you know as we understand in weather usually impacts storms that are 
hundreds to thousands of kilometers wide. Whereas, you know, our little sinks and toilet bowls are, you know, what, about a foot or so wide. The rotation that you see in your toilet bowl or in your sink really has to do with um, just some chaotic nature of the flow or also more likely just the orientation or how your uh, bowl is carved. If you look at the bottom of like a toilet bowl or something like that, you know, there's a depending on which way the the opening is because there's usually like a wall and then a, an opening or a, a curved area that goes down to the hole and then they then they use the jets to accelerate uh your flushing in that direction so no the coriolis force has it's not it's not zero but it is a negligible minimal effect on your toilet bowl and yeah i guess for people who are younger who didn't grow up with the simpsons um you're just like well, why is he so upset why did everyone get so upset about it because we grew up with the simpsons man this was really important to us and they lied even though they're wrong four out of five that's that's purely nostalgia talking i'm sorry hate me all you want i love the simpsons four out of five the state of florida has issued a category five hurricane warning now we're going to do crawl uh very helpfully in the in the clip it's called the storm surge scene so i'm gonna imagine we're talking about storm surge here just a guess big brain with glicky here coming at you faster than they are faster than who Oh, alligators. Oh, faster than the alligators. I see. Uh-oh. That is, uh... That's... That's one deep kitchen, I guess, there. Unless this is some really strange commentary on global warming, uh, the levees really only happen in uh, New Orleans, at least that you gotta be really concerned about. Storm surge, legitimate thing. We did talk about storm surge. Storm surge is the water that is physically pushed up by the hurricane as it's translating onto shore. We know that is a function of storm size and storm speed. Those are the two big things. Okay, so I am a meteorologist, not a uh, biologist, not a you know, reptile specialist, not an alligator specialist, but as I understand, alligators are not what you have to worry about here, right? Like alligators will really only attack humans if you go looking for them or they are really hungry. So maybe these alligators haven't eaten in a long time or maybe they've been trained to hunt people. I don't know. Some weird things here in backwoods Florida, maybe, I don't know. And oh yeah, and basements in Florida, which I guess for those of you who don't, in Flor who don't live in Florida, basements in Florida don't happen. I, I think this would probably take me take me out of the movie is that I'm not really a, you know, monster guy. Now, if it were a Megalodon or something like that, or shark swimming through, oh, then I'm sold. But uh, with the with the man-eating alligators, it's not doing it for me. Two out of five. Two out of five hurricanes. This is our world. This is our home. Our only choice is to take it back. We are now mercifully at the last one of these, I think, unless they're going to surprise me with another one. This one is called the fifth wave, not the fourth wave, not the sixth wave, but the fifth wave. Oh, and it's the end of the world scene. collateral <laughs> damage with the cars the others hit us with an electromagnetic pulse that killed all the power the on the others planet. i see no more than the second wave hit come on sir. it's an earthquake this is a very a very specific natural disaster that is tar targeting anyone walking around with uh plastic bottles I like the uh, the clear day storm surge. This is one of those stealth hurricanes. We have a real hard time with that in meteorology. <laughs> Climbing into a tree to survive a tsunami slash storm surge event. We saw that already. Plausible. Everything else is not, but that's plausible.
Yeah, okay. I mean, if you incited some pretty crazy... Ah, Siam Security uh, security Council out in Thailand. Yeah, perfectly acceptable. I mean, we saw, we've seen tsunamis there. Aliens. I gotcha. So reading up on this, the others, the aliens, in the second wave, manipulate the planet's geology and fault lines, causing earthquakes and mega tsunamis that destroy coastal cities and islands. I guess the question would be, how do the others actually get down to manipulate all these, you know, because plate tectonics move at the speed of fractions of centimeters per year. So you'd have to have a massive vertical displacement. Some electromagnetics you could cause the earth to undergo some crazy tectonic shift i guess i don't know i mean and well, first they hit us with an emp okay that's fine that'll that'll take down communications fine i don't know what's worse getting wiped out with the ocean or getting wiped out from the great lakes we've done some really nasty things for the pollution in those lakes at least they feel earthquakes first before uh the tsunami comes the mega tsunami from lake ontario but that i think that feels like it feels like depending i guess depending on where they are they probably they probably emptied all of Lake Ontario. So it's probably taking all of every the 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 lake bed of Lake Ontario and just basically pushing that all the way up. At least they got the cause of tsunamis correct, even if they're generating apparently Earth's Earth crust and moving Earth's crust in a matter of way. With the water rushing up like that, uh how would you physically i guess this is the fun part how would you physically do that so the only, so the reason you get tsunamis like i said with with earthquakes is that the earthquake actually causes a shift the water rises and you get that's that's how the tsunami comes it's really just it's a giant wave that's huge in lateral space but is kind of small in physical space in height space to start and then slowly builds up as you get closer to the continental shelf i'll give them points i'm feeling friendly today i'll give them points how about how about a three out of five for that one? Because at least they got the earthquakes right. That's that's what causes the tsunamis right. It's sci-fi, aliens. Maybe I'll give it a shot. So three out of five. Well, wasn't that exhilarating? I didn't know what they were going to put me through today. And I have to tell you what, some of it I enjoyed. And some of it may actually make me want to watch a couple of them. I, you know, I'm a sci-fi guy. The Simpsons cuts me real deep. I don't want to talk about it anymore. The tsunami one? That was 100% plausible. Five out of five would watch the rest of that movie, I think. And then Perfect Storm, I've seen that movie already. And yeah, it was a little hammy with that meteor, how that meteorologist was doing. But again, as a fellow weather weenie from time to time, perfectly okay with it. Movies sometimes will take liberties with science just to, for a dramatic effect or comedic effect or something like that. And uh, if you're wondering in real life, does it sometimes take me out of the movie if it's really egregious? And the answer is yeah, sometimes, sometimes it does. I can't, I can't help it. But for some of these movies, had a perfectly good time. Thank you very much for watching. And this is Dr. David Ergothi reminding you that uh, to have a good time and to enjoy yourself out there as you're watching these movies. I'll see you next time. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.